every seven years was a Shemitah, the Sabbath year. But every seven Shemitahs, every 49 years, was the super Shemitah that we call the Jubilee. So this is, the, this is a prophetic key. And what was Jubilee? Jubilee was the time when, when if you lost everything in your life, you lost your home, lost your ancestral possession, lost your land. When the Jubilee comes, seventh Shemitah, you return to your land. You return to your ancestral possession. You return to your father's possession, whatever you lost. Mm -hmm. So now we know that the end time prophecy is centered on Israel coming back to the land. Israel lost its ancestral possession in 70 AD, was driven out, lost its home, lost Jerusalem, lost all these things. But God said, Jesus said, you know, he's not coming back until the Jewish people say, blessed is he from Israel, from Jerusalem. So it's got to happen. This is prophetic. So could the mystery of the seventh Shemitah, could that actually give the timing of Israel's restoration, end time events, what has happened and what may come very soon? Well, the answer is yes. In fact, it gives the exact parameters of the greatest prophetic events of restoration in end time prophecy. Now, we don't know when the Jubilee was in, because we have no record in the time of Jesus. But we do have the record of when the Shemitah was. So the key is the Jubilee has to come the year after the Shemitah. Every, the seventh Shemitah, 49th Shemitah, leads into the 50th year. So it's got to be the year after a Shemitah. So the first thing of this is that 1917 is the year of a sh the Shemitah, world shaking. You know, Shemitah is linked to world shaking and all these things. The, the, the period that is, is given, the parameter of this mystery means it ends in September 1917. So September 1917 to September 1918 is the key period of the parameters when something has to happen. Did anything happen? What happened in the exact parameters is that Britain win, is winning World War I. The Ottoman Turkish Empire falls. They have the land of Israel. Britain takes the land of Israel, says we are giving this back now to the Jewish people. They can return home. It's going to be a Jewish homeland. This is the first time in 2,000 years. When does it happen? November 1917, the exact time parameter of the Jubilee restoration. So here Israel is returning home. Here everyone is returning to their ancestral possession, the beginning of the restoration. Now this is going to lead to the next. Now if you take this and you go to the next seventh Shemitah, where does it take you? And I believe you have a role in here, which is going to go from 1917 to the next prophetic thing. And then we'll take it to where we are. Okay. It's the first time in 2,000 years that the land is being restored to the Jewish people. The year following the Shemitah was September 1917 to September 1918. The Balfour Declaration takes place in November 1917. Thus, the land is restored to the Jewish people in the year following the Shemitah corresponding to the Jubilee. It's a prophetic Jubilee. And according to the mystery, the Jewish people now would return home to the land they had lost, to their father's possession, to their ancestral homeland. Everyone shall return to their possession. The mystery of the Jubilee concerns the seventh Shemitah. So what happens if we move forward in time from the Shemitah of 1917, 49 years to come to the seventh Shemitah. What is the seventh Shemitah? It brings us to the Shemitah of September 1965 to September 1966. The year following the Shemitah would begin September 1966 and end September 1967. Did anything significant take place? within that year and within those dates, any event of restoration? The answer is yes. According to Bible prophecy, the Jewish people have to be restored not only to their homeland, but also to their ancient holy city of Jerusalem. In the midst of the Six Day War, Israeli soldiers enter the Lion's Gate of the biblical city of Jerusalem through gunfire, they make their way to the holiest site in Judaism, the Western Wall. There they weep. And after 2,000 years, the Jewish people are restored to their ancient capital, Jerusalem. It happens on June 7, 1967, within the parameters of the year ending in September 1967, the year following the seventh Shemitah, the Jubilee. 
The seventh Shemitah had ushered in the second restoration of the land. According to the mystery of the seventh Shemitah, the Jewish people had returned to what they lost 2,000 years before, Jerusalem. They had regained their long lost possession and returned to their ancestral home. The two great restorations of the land each happened according to the mystery. The Bible ordains that in the year of the Jubilee, the shofar, the ram's horn, is to be sounded. The first thing that happens after the soldiers reached the Temple Mount in 1967 is that the ram's horn is sounded from the Temple Mount, the sound of the Jubilee. The man who sounds it is Rabbi Shlomo Goren. Rabbi Goren was born in the year 1917, the time of the other restoration. When he sounds the shofar, he is 50 years old, the number of the Jubilee. The mystery of the Shemitah lies behind the two great end time restorations of Israel's lands. Now the pattern and cycle does not have to continue, but if it did, what would be the seventh Shemitah from the last restoration? The seventh Shemitah begins September 2014, goes to September 2015. The year following the 7th Shemitah is that of September 2015 to September 2016. While the cycle doesn't have to continue and nothing significant has to take place, in the last two occurrences, it has meant war in the Middle East, war in the land of Israel, and a war resulting in a prophetic restoration. There's a mitzvah, a commandment to establish the Jubilee and the Shemitah year, the sabbatical year. We had a, a large uh, scholarly debate for many, many months. We came to the conclusion, now a bigger, better court can always change our opinion. Part of it was based on reality that we made this decision. One of the, one of the, the leading ideas was that this year should be the Jubilee. This year meaning 5776 right. that we started on September 14th, uh, th night of the 13th. Okay, okay. yes. Uh, I mean, the reason that would fit, it would fit with, with one at least one version of how it's been counted from the time of Ezra. There are other versions. The other reason is because if you count from the time that Jerusalem was redeemed from the Six Day War, the 50, you would, and, and which would be a, a logical time to start counting. Or in other words, we all agreed that we should have started counting then. This would be the 50th year. However, we came to the conclusion as a court that we can't start counting retroactively. That there is no legal precedent to start counting retroactively. That even though we may have, should have started counting at that year, and also for practical purposes, we decided that this is not the Jubilee year, but this is rather the first year of the counting of the 50. And we even said a blessing of the beginning of the year. We created a blessing, and I, I, and I was given the merit of saying the blessing. What was this, a uh, short blessing? Similar to yeah, it wasn't a very long blessing. What was the blessing? Blessed are you, our Lord, our God, who has commanded us in the counting of the sabbaticals and the, and the, the Jubilees. Would that be a once in every year on the sabbatical year and we oh and then we counted just like we do with Svirat the Omer this is the first year of the counting of the first sabbatical of the Jubilee, Jubilee. so that's how we did it and I, that, that was what we determined what you're supposed to do that's what we determined the mitzvah is counting the year of the sabbatical and the sabbatical just like you do with okay the counting of the Omer where you count days and weeks of the Omer it's the same pattern, same pattern. okay same model same model and we hope that in 50 years, by that point, the idea of the Sanhedrin will be a Jewish universal idea. So in that 50 years, it'll either get traction or it won't. But either way, we'll know where we're headed. Yeah.
Amén. Amén.